Bill, I don't mean to... Uh, J- just ask him. It's... Uh, uh, Bill, are, are you holding... Um, it's in- a human head, isn't it? No. What? No, no, that's just ridiculous. No. It's very head-shaped. Uh, <sighs> We're going to get the channel <laughs> shut down for this. <laughs> Improving the potato cannon and a waging war still burns. All right, we're here with Bill Duran from PunishProps.com. Yeah, new gentleman. Intergalactic arms dealer, and I hear best friend to Adam Savage, we, as you keep telling us we, <laughs> over we, and over we again. We had a couple moments. <laughs> but did Adam Savage make a, uh, a tank? Did no. he improvise a tank? Actually, probably, he probably did, yeah. <laughs> Mythbusters did it. <laughs> Tell us about how ours was better. It, w- it was top notch. Go on. Uh, uh, the, gl- the glitter. It was pink. <laughs> it was more pink. But for what we had, I thought we did pretty good. We built a potato cannon, yep. we strapped it to a Jeep. Thought we had destroyed that changeling. And then he comes back looking like you. I will not stand for this. I will not get <laughs> stand for this. <laughs> Whose side are you on, Bill? <laughs> it was so much fun. You got a life cast out of you. We created another Jason head. We made the Nerf version. Yep. We made the gelatinous version, the ballistics gel. Yeah, that's that right. One... Complete with a fiberglass skull on the inside. Mm-hmm. I couldn't believe that I ate the gelatin. <laughs> I could. I I believe it a little I bit. I can totally believe that. The ballistics gel, it only has skin-like properties at certain temperatures, which is why it has to be on ice. Right. If it gets too hot, it'll get more jelly-like and start to melt. Now we just need to see if we can get uh, the most power out of our potato gun. Yeah, this is the part where we tip our hats to the commenters who all had, shall we say, constructive criticism <laughs> yes. about our techniques. Let's give them a try. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So the first criticism we got is very valid. People were saying we had to clean it out, and we found out when we got here, we couldn't open this. <laughs> because all of the hairspray had gathered right down in the bottom in there. Well, think yeah. about how sticky hairspray is, and now you got this residue collecting, and it just seals it I all shut. I didn't even think about the fact that once we were done shooting it, we just set it on a shelf, and so, of course, all of that ooze gathered down at the bottom. It's probably on the, the ends of your, uh, your yeah. zapper there. That's another one people said, is make sure to clean the contacts so that yeah. it always fires that spark. That is hairspray water-soluble? Yeah, yeah okay. you should be able to just damp cloth, wipe it down. All right, hold on. Here, give that a go. A lot of it in there. If you want to get aggressive, you can use a solvent like acetone or something, but this should be fine. Man, it was so stuck though. It's not even getting in there very well. We're going to need like... What about your knife? Can you scrape it Just out? Just scrape it out? Yeah. Uh, you, you're the prop mess. Don't trust me with the knife, you oh, kidding me? Here. Yeah, yeah. Phil. <laughs> so yeah, Murphy's going to be a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, down in the threads. All yeah. Right, cool. You guys really shouldn't, you shouldn't have washed this before you put it away. Thanks, Dad. That's not coming out. No. Wait, no. Well, you told me it was water soluble. So uh, thank you, commenters. You were very much correct. Yeah. yeah. Instead, we just left it stuffed full of hairspray and potato residue. I still have not cleaned my car since then. It's covered in potato <laughs> dust. It's, it's coming out. OK, good. Yeah. It just had to soften to like a jelly. All right, while he's doing that, the other criticism we got was on our tamping stick. Not right. only were we not pushing the potato all the way down to the chamber, but also we had no uh, padding on it, so we're just crushing the potatoes. Yeah, we kept lacerating it, and when you're breaking up your potato, if air is getting through between here and your potato, yep. then it's going to screw with your pressure that's and building not, up. Plus, we weakened the ordnance, so when it did fire, it just flopped. French fries came out, basically. We did have a lot of French fries. <laughs> yeah. One of the things uh, that people were talking about was putting the spray in and then tamping it down to build up pressure? Yeah, that one makes me nervous, but I guess we'll give it a try, because the way we did it, we had the potato here, and we had a chamber of fuel-air mixture exactly this size. But if you put the potato in the front, then fill it with a fuel-air mixture, you have this much, you tamp it down, now it's not only a fuel-air mixture, but it's compressed, which makes it a lot more powerful, makes me a lot more scared. (laughs) (laughs) It's pressurized. Uh, uh, I don't think we're going to have any sort of ruptured PVC or anything like that. I say that until we're in the ER. Oh, and it's true. There are fuel mixtures that are way more powerful than PVC can handle. Oh, yeah. Give it a shot. It looks better, question mark? Come on, baby. Come on, Charlotte. All the way? All the way. Good, okay, good, 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 good job, Bill Duran. Yeah, woo! Yay. Okay, and hopefully as we re-thread all this, it'll... Oh, it's certainly soluble to itself. We should have sprayed hairspray in there. I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's just do a test fire. Let's just do a test right now. Okay, with with potato? Uh, with or potato, dry fire? With potato and hairspray. Okay, all right. Oh, that's gonna push it right into the chamber. Look at these potatoes. Oh, they're big potatoes. Yeah. Not only are they big potatoes, 
but they are shockingly bullet shaped. <laughs> Every single one of these looks like they were meant to be fired from this thing. Yeah, the other ones we had were closer to spheres and that was problematic. So here, you wanted to go this far. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> this far. All right, here, you load it in the front and tamp it down. All right. Did you have a t <laughs> Well, <laughs> um, this one, uh, we, may, we may need your, uh, your knife. Bill? Yeah. Okay. This old, is gonna work old, so old much better. Bullet Carver Bill. That's what they called me. Back in the Russet Wars, <laughs> Bullet Carver Bill would <laughs> turn the, the tide. the Russet Wars? He would turn the tide on many battles. <laughs> the Ken Burns documentary. That's right. And lo, Just... though I write you from the potato fronts of Idaho, my heart does wish for some meat. <laughs> my dearest Clara. <laughs> Four years art school and I'm carving a <laughs> shaped potato. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just means you're a modern rogue, Phil. <laughs> so while he's doing that, one of the other things that we need to try is we were just going nuts spraying right. it on there. Our fuel air mixture, stoichiometry, stoichiometry. everyone comes yeah. shouting at us. Yeah. Apparently less is more, just a little bitty spritz. Uh, yeah, and they were also saying you spray it in there and sometimes they blow in after it to make sure it gets mixed around and you have the right oxygen fuel mixture. Yeah, let's give that a try. All right, so we're tamping the potato. Nice. Nice. Good. Is it firing? Yeah, it's firing every time. Okay. So if it's wrong, it's because the fuel air mixture is wrong. Are you going to shoot it in an arc like that? I just want to see it go far. I'm going to do a, the tiniest spray so okay. that it's mostly air in there. Ready? That's super tiny. Yeah. We were doing like two seconds. Yeah. I think, I think maybe that was a little, yeah. All right, a little so too cautious. Maybe, should we do the blowing trick that everyone was yeah. suggesting? Yeah. So we'll do a generous and then. There we go. So we know there's fuel in there and we know there's air. Potatoes already right. in there. Go for it. Here we go. Man, stoichiometry is bullshit. <laughs> I will say when you sprayed it, it looked like a lot of it came out. Okay, yeah. let's clear it all the way out. Okay. And then we'll, we'll give it just a... Uh, like a one second? Yeah, just... Like a solid? That, was that, was, a that wasn't enough. No, but I don't know. I think it might have been enough. Huh. You can smell it. Yeah, but... it's, all, it's all out. All right, so a full second? Yeah. yeah. One Mississippi. Here we go. What? <laughs> 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 it just tumbled head over it. See if you can find it. Go, Murphy, go. Not expecting it to work. Totally wasn't ready. <laughs> and it really did look like a double dog. Flop, 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 flop. That was an astonishing amount of kick. <laughs> How did it feel? That was the first try, too. Yeah. So the right thing seems to be, so let's clear this. He got it. Yeah! yeah! Let's double check and make sure it keeps working each time. Because do another try just the like one that? Mississippi, yeah. Okay. We're hoping to replicate the exact same results this time. Okay. Okay, ready and one Mississippi. Are we gonna arc it up again? Yes. Okay, so it was about a 45 degree angle. Yeah, okay. There we and go. And here we go. <laughs> I would I would I think I think we cracked it. I think yeah. number one they're right. We were and, and there was a breeze, so I think it went into the wind this time. Yeah, it was almost as far. It looks really close. All right, let's try it. If we get three for three, I say we've declared the fuel air mixture issue solved, okay. right? One Mississippi. All there right. And three, two, one, firing. <laughs> that is 100% oh, yeah. success, right? A little bit farther. Three for three. Three for three. Done. Three for three. Three yeah. for three. <laughs> well okay. done, sir. Okay, so now let's try the spraying and then the tamp. That was our farthest one so far by a few feet. Yeah, absolutely. So. One Mississippi. So we're going to have more, I guess, yeah, more oxygen. I wonder okay, if that'll great. make it more volatile. Tamping. And I will do this. Three, two, one. Ho, ho, ho! That was, I think, the farthest. I think it almost got to that wooden It, it hit the ridge. Yeah. All right, I'll put another potato in. So we definitely solved the stoichiometry problem 
with the hairspray, but the other suggestion we got was using starting fluid. That seemed to be the common suggestion that people said was really going to kick it up a notch. Yeah, it says here 50% ether. The one thing I read online is like, you got to be really light touch on this because yeah. it's so much more potent. Okay. okay, so just a tiny little spritz. Yeah, good, here, good. you could be the spritz master MC. All right, cool. We already have a potato loaded and tamped. Whoa. Wow, that seemed... Uh... Yeah, that comes out forcefully. Okay, everyone move back a bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Gonna just keep hitting it. All right, I have a hunch that the wind took a lot of that out. It seemed to yeah. billow back out as I sprayed it. <laughs> Do you feel your whole body flinching when he counts it out? No dice. Huh. It's got to be just that this particular stuff has a different percentage what, try, well, mixture. It, I don't think we got a full second on there. Okay. If you, if you want to call bit out longer? Yeah, just, actually longer. say one Mississippi right. really fast. Oh, I just, I just breathed that in. That uh, was gross. You okay? One Mississippi. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's, it's wet. It's dripping it's out, yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. All right. I think we could spend all day trying to figure this one out. Yeah, let's just say that starter fluid probably works, but it's definitely trickier than hairspray. I would say it's more important that we find a consistent method to get it to fire, right? Yeah, and we're, we're like the best at hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the big show. All right, let's do this. Uh, are we loaded? There is a potato in the barrel. All right, here, get the tamping stick out of the way. One Mississippi. Ready. <laughs> it didn't blow it off. It's fine. He's immortal. <laughs> Where'd the potato go? It, it went, went flying off to way. the side. It didn't shatter at all, though. I mean, where did you? Oh, yeah. no! It fractured the fiberglass. Oh, I was, yeah, no, I didn't it see totally that. did. Oh, did it? it? Did, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe it's not point blank enough. Let's get him just nose in the barrel. All right. Do you wanna? I, I think we we already had success. Same game. Same thing. Closer, closer. There it is. <laughs> Ready? One Mississippi. That was a slow one, Mississippi. I'm afraid I might have overdone it. There we go. Clear. Ready? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> it was raining potato yes! all around us. That was amazing. <laughs> How did the potato end up looking? I don't think there's anything I don't anything even know where left. it went. I mean, well, we already had two big chunks, right? You know what I think the real takeaway here is your tank would have been better if you had a three-man crew. Yeah, well, there was a lot of struggling. <laughs> we were under alien mind control at the time. You'll have to understand. All right, so is it time? It's time to get the head. Okay. All right, so how's it feel, Bill? This is uh No, no, no. How's it feel? Oh. Feel. <laughs> Does it feel flesh-like? Oh, softer, Bill. <laughs> Caress it. I can feel it whenever you touch it. Is it still nice and solid? It's, been, it's yeah. a bit warm out here. It is. It, it uh, is very firm. It's starting to sweat a little bit, but, but it feels pretty solid. This is hard enough that I feel like, since it wasn't enough to crush the fiberglass, yeah. I think since the skull is fiberglass as well, it'll survive. I think it's going to blast off part of the face. I think yeah. it's going to take the nose off. Yeah, that nose is gone. So do we want to do we want to lower it to get all the gelatinous stuff or I you think just want to center mass. Just center mass right there. Yeah. yeah. I suck it. I don't think it's going to do the damage that we'd hoped. Yeah, I think the head remains on. I think uh, if we're lucky, it looks like the T1000. It just sort of turns to you and menacingly. All right. Ready and one Mississippi. <laughs> and I'm right ready. Right on the nose. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Oh, I screwed. I screwed it up. 
Old one Mississippi screwed it up. Okay, that's okay. Oof. So I'll try it faster, Mississippi. One Mississippi. Ready. Ready. Oh man! That thing went flying back at us! <laughs> and it took off the head! Oh my god! Is it, is it, he's blind! He bashed in his eye! That dude's got nothing! Did it damage the skull at all? Uh, I don't think so. Oh my god! It totally fractured the skull! <laughs> it destroyed- this dude is dead! Oh. Holy sh this is deadly! <laughs> oh man! Holy sh It went back. The potato went back this yeah, way. Yeah, it's right. It, I, I saw it on the ground. Oh, whoa. That was a torpedo right in the eyeball. With the smooth face? Yeah. It glanced away. Yeah. But that thing took the full amount of force. Yeah. Well, and it that's stopped why, that's and why it rebounded. All fractured. Yeah. I just pulled potato out of the skull. His eyes are totally gone. He's got nothing but potato in there. Hey guys, I'm beginning to think potato cannons are no joke. Yeah, no kidding. Old potato out here would agree. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at it. It goes all the way across his forehead. I mean, you're... And back, look, look. All the way back here. Oh, wow. Now I did, I, I poked holes to get the gelatin all through there. Yeah. Did, we, did weaken it a little bit, but still, that's pretty legit right there. This was a victory for the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately the changeling still lives, but uh, but man, potato guns will kill a man. Oh yeah. There's a reason in Texas it's legit considered a firearm. All right, Bill, where can people find more about you? Everything that we do is over at punishprops.com. Prop and costume making, molding and casting, uh, videos, tutorials. And and showing up over at tested.com. Yeah, and I'm doing some really cool stuff with the crew, Adam Savage and Norm over at Tested. And me, I'll be at the Chuckle Hut on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I'll be wearing an eye patch <laughs> and, and wearing a brace around my neck. <laughs> You think they'll let me take this on the plane? I think you should send it to Adam Savage as a warning. 